Hey guys, in this Spark AR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a card flip animation like this. Yeah, so when you tap on the screen, the card flips and when you tap again, it flips again. But of course, you can combine this with any interaction you want. I have also created the BNGs for you. You can use in this tutorial to follow along, but of course, you can also yeah, use your own graphics, so let's go! Hey again! So let's create a card flip animation here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating this card flip animation, make sure you have downloaded all the assets we need for this filter. I have created the card back and the card front as a PNG file for you, but of course you can use your own graphics to follow along this tutorial. So yeah, let's start! After you have created or downloaded the assets, make sure you yeah, import them to our Spark AR project here. So go to your assets panel, click on the plus, go to import and then from computer. Then just select the card back and the card front as your files and then click on open. After the import is done, make sure you set the compression um, of both of the textures to none. So select both of the textures, go to the right hand side and here set the compression to none. So after we have done this, we can start building our scene here. So at first we need of course two materials for the front and for the back. So we go to our assets panel, click on the plus and here create a new material. I will call this material front. Then I select my material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then I go down to texture and here I set my card front as the texture. Now I go to my assets panel again and then just duplicate my material. So now I will rename this again to back. Then again go to the right hand side, shader type is already set to flat and select the yeah, card back and texture for the texture. So after we have done this we can go to our scene and here we need two plane objects. So we will create the first plane object here in our scene and I will call this plane front. So now we can already see this um, yeah, blank plate, uh, plane here in our viewport but yeah there is no um, texture applied. So let's do this. We go to our scene, select our fr front plane, go to the right hand side and here for the material we set our front material. So now we can see that the aspect ratio and the scale of this card is not right. Because I have not imported a squared um, PNG. But of course you can just create a squared PNG so you don't have this problem. When we go now to our textures and select the card front texture, we can see on the right hand side that this card has a dimension of 500 times 800 pixels. So yeah, we have to make sure that the scale of um, yeah, this plane fits this dimension. So yeah, just take um, the 500 and divide it by 1000, then you get 0.5 and when you divide the 800 by 1000 you get 0.8. So now when you go back to the, your plane just insert for the scale for the x the 0.5 and for the y the 0.8 and now this is in the right um, yeah, scale. But now you may think what if I want the card bigger? Do I have to do the calculation every time? No, <laughs> I will show you a yeah, really easy way that you can just um, do whatever scale you want. So now we have this card in the right scale. Now we need of course um, yeah, the second plane here in our scene. So for this we go to our scene and then we just duplicate our front plate. So plane. So just duplicate it and then yeah, rename this to back. So now just go to the right hand side and set the material to back. So now the card back is overlaying the um, yeah, card front plane and yeah now we have the problem that when we here look at our viewport and then just rotate it at the yeah 
back there is no card visible but we want of course um, that this functions like a physical card so when you turn it around there is the front and when you turn it back there is the back of the card so we need of course to rotate one of our planes here by 180 degrees in the y-axis so let's do this um, i will do the front so i select the front plane and then go to the right hand side and here set the rotation of the y-axis to 180. so now when we turn around our viewport now we can see that the card front is at the back of the yeah, card back so now we will do a little trick to make this um yeah animation very very easy and also the scaling and everything else so for this we go to our scene again and we create a new object we will create a null object and i will call this null object card now i just drag and drop the front and the back plane into my card null object and now it is really simple to yeah, scale both planes and also rotate both planes so i show you when we go to the null object the null object has a scale of one for x and one for y and now i can just set the x to two and also the y to do and now when i rotate here my viewport i can see that also the front and the back has yeah, are scaled in the right yeah right aspect ratio so now we can also rotate this null object for example by um, yeah 180 degrees and now we have the card front facing us and the back is here at the back at the back so now we want to automate this process and animate this so for example that the card keeps rotating or just rotates one time by 180 degrees so for this we need of course to open our patch editor and here we will program our animation and this is very very simple so at first i will show you a loop animation and then i will show you an animation where you can tap on the screen to flip the card and tap again to flip the card back so now we go to the patch editor and add a loop animation patch so then we need also a transition patch and then we can already connect the progress output of our loop animation with the progress input of the transition patch so now we have to extract the rotation properties of our null object to the patch editor to do this we select our null object here in the scene go to the right hand side and click at the little arrow next to rotation so and now we can um, yeah connect the transition output with the 3t rotation input of the yellow yeah card patch so now we will just reset here everything to zero and now we can just program our loop animation now when we set our y to 180 the card keeps flipping but it doesn't flip back because the animation starts at zero and this is when the yeah, back is facing us so when we set it to mirrored now the loop animation patch you can see the card is yeah just flipping over again and again so when we set the y to 349 and the duration of the loop animation maybe to two and disable mirrored again we can see that this car card keeps spinning and spinning and spinning when the when mirrored is disabled so now it is spinning and spinning and spinning and yeah we now have already a nice card flip animation of course you can do this also at the x x axis so set um, the y axis back to zero and x to 359 and now the ca uh, card is flipping in this direction but yeah i think for this y suits this better so i will set it back to 359 so now i will 
um, program uh, interaction here that we tap on the screen, the cat flips and when we tap again, it flips back. So for this, we need of course a screen tap patch. So then we need also a new animation patch because we don't need now a loop animation, we need a um, they yeah, are just an animation patch because here we have more inputs. Here we have play, reverse, reset and stop. So for the transition we can just use this transition patch. So we will set the progress output of the animation patch to the progress input of this transition patch. So and one last patch we need here is a switch patch. After we have created our switch patch, we can connect the gaseous state output of the screen tap patch to the flip input of the switch patch. And then we can connect the on and off output of the switch patch to the play input of the animation patch. Then Spark AR will automatically create this pulse patch for us. And now we just have to connect the turn off output of the pulse patch to the reverse input of the animation patch and now when our viewport here is set to simulate touch we can already test the animation so yeah just tap here on the screen and the card will flip over and when we tap again the card will flip back so yeah and when you do this the tapping during the animation it will just stop and reverse the animation so yeah so this looks pretty nice and I think the card flip effect can really enhance your filter because it looks more interactive. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!